If you've ever used your equipment outside in the rain or humid environments, then this cheap plastic box can really help you keep your equipment in top working condition. It might even help you save something if it got a little bit more wet than you thought it did. Hey, my name is Jake and I create content here on YouTube for solo creators on the go. People like me who are creating commercial projects, small stuff, things for here on YouTube. So I test and review equipment here in Alaska and do tips and tutorials on how to use that equipment. On today's Friday, five minutes to better filmmaking and photography, I wanna show you how this inexpensive plastic box, this inexpensive Tupperware, whatever, and this pretty cheap, uh, inexpensive silica gel package down here will help you keep your equipment working if you work in humid environments or very cold environments or where there's a lot of temperature swings because when you have a lens like this that is non-weather sealed, that means the air around it can go in and if it's very cold, the moisture will go in. If you're working in humid environments, the humidity will go inside. And so to keep these in the best working conditions to keep mold and fungus from growing on the inside of the lens, you wanna dry these out. Now, you could go out and spend hundreds of dollars on an actual cabinet that does dehumidify and if you have tens of thousands or more dollars invested in camera equipment, that's probably the direction you wanna go. But if you're just getting started and you need something that will work now, then this way will work and for considerably less money than going out and spending several hundred dollars or thousands of dollars on a dehumidification cabinet. It's a really simple way. You got a Tupperware plastic box like this that will seal up relatively well. This one has this little foam liner around it. And then you buy one of these desk cans. This is a hydroabsorbent thing that you can buy at Amazon or anything else. They're linked in the description. They're really cheap. Buy a couple of them. I'm gonna get uh, two or three more to stick in here just to make sure. And one of the nice things about this, while well, you can get a pack of two of these for about $15, $16 US, when they turn from orange to clear, that means they have absorbed all of the moisture that they're gonna absorb. But there's a really easy way to recharge them. You put them in your oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for three to four hours, and they turn orange again, ready for use again. So you can basically use these indefinitely until you upgrade to a several thousand dollar dehumidification cabinet. So when you come back from a trip where you've been out in the rain or you've been out in moisture, humidity, you wanna take your lens, your camera, kind of open everything up, stick it inside. And then before you seal the box up, you also wanna do something that's gonna generate a little bit of heat inside the box to warm things up. And that helps to get the moisture off of whatever's in here and a little bit of air movement because obviously you wanna move the air around to get the moisture off or away from whatever's in here and over to the silica gel packets, just move the air around so that the silica gel can kind of filter through the air and get the moisture out. So you can either use something like this, which is a loom cube, uh, turn it on, turn it to about 40, 50% power because it will generate a little bit of heat that way. Be careful, don't set it on anything, set it off on its own so that it doesn't, well, that's really bright, I'm gonna turn that off so it doesn't get too hot on a particular object. Or you can use a really low wattage light bulb, like a two, three, or four, maybe five watt light bulb, but nothing too hot because you obviously don't wanna start anything on fire. What I found works good for me is setting it on top of, but with some space underneath, so putting it up on top of a couple of boards or books or something on top of a register vent in my house so that the hot air blows onto the underside, but also then moves away, obviously. And then the next thing is you want to have some air movement inside the cabinet. So I built this little USB fan, five volts off Amazon, wired it up to some USB plug I had lying around. It blows, actually blows a fair amount of air. And I can set this in here and just have it circulate the air around the cabinet so that it kind of pulls the moisture off of what's ever in here, moves it past the silica gel packets and the silica gel packets have more of a chance of absorbing whatever moisture is actually inside this box once I seal it up. Seal it up and set it away for a few hours to a few days, depending on how wet things are. I usually let it sit overnight, seems to be enough and works really well. I've been using this for a few years and it has worked fantastic. In fact, I was even able to rescue a loom cube that I didn't realize wasn't sealed all the way with the little USB cover when I put it underwater to light something up. But I took the loom cube apart, put it in there for a week, pulled it out, put it all back together, and it works perfectly fine, which is pretty cool. It's a really cheap, really inexpensive way to ensure that your gear will stay in the best condition that it can possibly stay in, especially if you work in anything less than ideal conditions. I put together a playlist right here of other short videos like this one that will give you tips on how you can improve your videography and photography when it comes to cameras, drones, anything like that. Click or tap there, I'll see you in one of those videos. As always, if you have questions, ask me in the comments below or join my live stream Wednesday nights at 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Cheers.